Well, hello, and welcome back. Let's bust into it, shall we? It's Pat Cracker Friday. Let's see how awesome we are. Do hope everybody's having a great day. Oh, there it is. I am. I. I live near Tampa, so you know, what is it called? The Super Bowl is coming to town this weekend. And and so doing, let me open this up because this is supposed to be really kind of cool. Uh, and so doing, all the tourists are coming to town. Ooh, that is awesome. Look at that. All the tourists are coming to town, so it's getting uh, a little bit extra busy. But unfortunately, where the Super Bowl goes, so does a lot of inappropriate, uh, well, it's kind of like inviting Satan to your to your neighborhood and to your town, you know, because where goodness comes, of course, there's also bad, so, unfortunately, but never mind that, let's get into this, let me see that beautiful, beautiful, oh, there it is. There it is. It's actually really cool. I thought it would be like maybe a sticker on it, but no, this is a raised numbers, raised design. I like it. That's very cool. Let's move this off to the side here. Break into this. No reason to open this one up. We know it's five basic lands. I'm sorry, ten basic lands. Um, wait, no. Twenty? Yeah, twenty. And of course this has the foil lands. And one, Reflections of Litjura. Litjura. As Reflections of Litjura enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Whenever you cast a spell of the chosen type, copy that spell. Eh, not bad for six. Kind of cool. I have the regular version, so... Let's break into this. You know the one card that we're looking for. Actually, two. World Tree and Asika. We already got a Vorn Clex. Awesome card. It wouldn't mind getting another one. But let's see what we get. Ooh, we got a foil on this one. Avalanche Collar. Gates of... Ist fell. Rune of Might. King Nefiri's Betrayal. Not bad card. And the foil is... Oh, wait, that's no covered. The foil is... Skull Raid. That's a good card. I like that. Do -do, do -do, do -do. I haven't done one of these in a while. Saved up my my little my little my little uh, funds every once in a while because of where I work I'm not supposed to accept tips or I'm not supposed to take tips ask for them but if someone gives them to me then I take them. Ooh, that's kind of a cool land. I didn't see that one. Maybe that's one of them I'm missing. Forging the tire sword, tyrite sword. That's actually a really cool sword. Provoking the trolls. Don't provoke the trolls. You never know what they're going to do. And the mythic or rare is Calamity Bearer. Not a bad. Not a bad. Not a bad. Not a bad. We'd really like to get Valky. Okay, so maybe it's three cards. Valky would be an awesome card to add to the collection. Though, so I'm pretty sure, like, Alarud, probably pretty hard to come by. Bloodline Pretender. Hey, Finn Fangbearer. A lot of people don't like him. Fearless Liberator. And the Mythic Rare is Raven's Warning. That's not a bad card. Pretty good. Pretty good. Don't really care about they. Don't care about the story. Don't care about the art. Don't care about them. 
I'm not going to hype it up. And y'all can hate me for it. I don't care. Skull Raid again. Way down. Frostbite. Augury Raven. Codex Spell. Poison the Cup. Invasion of Giants. Having a bad day when that happens. Colossal Plow. And Cyclone Summoner. Not bad. Could be worse. Oop, got a foil. Ice Hide Troll. This will make it halfway through. Maybe we'll get something good in the next half. Or we'll finish off this half with something awesome. Let's see what happens. I think I'm going to make a duck and bear, duck and cover deck with a bunch of 1 1 1 2 flyers. I think I hid that one. Berg Strider. Craven Hulk. Coma's Faithful. Horizon Seeker. Bound, bound in gold. Shackles of Treachery. Elderleaf. Oh, you know what? Tibble's Trickery. Another one I, I would really like to get. So I'll make it four. Four of them. Haven't seen either, any of them. So Frostbite. Uh, first uncommon is Valkyrie Sword. Crush the Weak. Rune of Sustenance. And Raiden, God of the Worthy. That's not bad. He flips. So, Vigilance, Flying, Snowlands, your opponent's control, enter the battlefield, tap. Non-creature spells, your opponent's cast, and converted mana cost four or greater cost two less to cast. It's not bad. And it flips into, or I'm sorry, it's a modal. So, you pick one or the other. Uh, Valkamir. Protector Shield. If a source of an opponent controls would deal damage to your permanent you control, prevent one of that damage. Whenever you or another permanent you control becomes a target of a spell or ability of an opponent controls, counter that spell or ability unless its controller pays one more. Hmm. I like this side better. Okay, well, nothing big and special on that side. Let's see about this side. We got four big boys we'd really like. And, of course, any of the Pathways would be awesome. Just because I play Commander and Pathways are becoming a staple. They're becoming a staple because it's if you have the choice between having to put down two lands, or one of, one of two lands, you get to choose. Skimfar Shadow Sage. I don't think I have that one yet. Dual Strike. Got that one. Ooh, there you go. Agar, the Freezing Flame. This one's in the... Uh, it's kind of cool. In the uh, showcase uh, showcase art. And then a rare mythic is... Ooh, Egon. God of Death. Another one in the showcase. Uh, two and a black... Death Touch, at the beginning of your upkeep, exile two cards from your graveyard. If you can't, sacrifice Egon and draw a card. Not bad. Not bad at all. And he can be played also as a Throne of Death, for one. At the beginning of your upkeep, mill a card. Okay. Exile a creature card from your graveyard, draw a card. Okay. I like him. I like him. I like them. So we're starting off this side good. What can we get? What can we get? Do 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 do. Invoke the divine. Nice card. Dwarven reinforcements. We gotta make a dwarf deck. Really do need to. A null. I use that actually in one of my uh, popper decks. Struggle for a skim far. Maja Betragard Protector. I think I don't have this artwork. I have the showcase artwork, so that's cool. Avalanche Collar. 
Jayless, Liberator again. And Arnie. Hey, it's Arnie. Arnie Broken Brow. Uh, if I haven't read him to you, I'll read him in two. And a red has haste. Uh, boast for one. You may change Arnie Broken Brow's base power to one plus the greatest power among other creatures you control until end of turn. And of course, if you don't know what boast is, his activates ability only if this creature attacked this turn and only once each turn. So, right when he's about to hit, you get to change him for one. You get to change him to be stronger. And it only costs you one. Emmerstrom Rider, Doom Scout Oracle, Carfell, Witchcraft. I'm sorry. Withered Crown, Broken Wings, Way Down. I actually like that card. Yeah. Dog Pursuit. Ooh, I do apologize. You can see how I make my... How I made it. That was uncalled for. Don't know how that happened. I think I might need to tweak my... A little new invention. Hmm. Let's see here. I don't know what that is. Okay. Let's try that. Frostbite. That was so weird. Run ashore. Cole, the Forge Master. Awesome. There's that Sirlet Frostpire again. Forging the Tire Sword. This whole pack is basically red and white. And the Mythic or Rare is... Ooh, Asika's Chariot again. I got it again. But look, Tyrol Kel. Should make a deck around that one. I play Commander, so... I'm only going to use one of them. Yep. Haven't gotten any Foil Rares. Come on there, Foil Rare. Give me a Foil Rare. Give me a Foil Rare. I want is a foil rear. Gates of Istfel. Rune of Might. Three Seasons. That one's actually really cool. And the Mythic or Rare is Jorn, God of Winter. This is actually a really good one, too. Whenever Jorn attacks, untap each snow permanent you control for three. He's a 3-3. Three, three. He also can be Caldrag the Rhyme Staff for one, a blue, and a black. You may play target snow permanent card from your graveyard this turn. If you do, it enters the battlefield tapped. So, not a bad card. And we have a myth. Oh, we got a rare. There we go. Ascendant Spirit. And Foil actually wanted this one, too. Oh, looks my. That's not pretty bad. That's, yeah, yeah. I like it. For one blue, Ascendant Spirit becomes a Spirit Warrior with power base toughness 2 3 if you pay 2 snow. 3 snow. If Ascendant Spirit is a Warrior, put a flying counter on it and put a. And it becomes a Spirit Warrior Angel with base power and toughness 4 4. And then, of course, pay 4 snow. If Ascendant Spirit is an Angel, you. Put two 1-1 one, one counters on it, and it gains whenever this creature deals damage. Deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Not bad. Go in my duck and cover deck. Put the foil up there. Okay, last one. Last chance to get something that... Something nasty, special, awesome. Did we get a... I don't think we got one mythic, did we? Uh, nope, no mythic. Can we get a mythic? Can we get a mythic? Can we get a mythic? It wouldn't be the first time I didn't get a mythic in one of these. Actually happens to me quite a bit. Another card for the duck and cover. Uh, Raven Wings. Struggle of Skimfar. Ravenous Lindworm. Squash. Raiders Carve. Car I, I guess it's Carve. Provoke the Trolls. Not Vold Slumber Mound. That's funny. Batter Shield Warrior. And the mythic or rare is... Bears of Lejura. Did not get a mythic this time. Eh, it's happened to me quite often. 
But yeah, not a bad card. One, a uh, blue and a green. Create for the first, ep uh, so sorry. First lure, you get a, create a 2-2 blue shapeshifter creature token with changeling. For two, any number of target shapeshifter creatures you control with power four or toughness. I'm sorry. You control, have base power of uh, and toughness of 4-4. Four, four. And then, of course, for three, choose up to one target creature or a planeswalker. Each creature with power four or greater you control deals damage equal to its power to that permanent. It's not a bad card. And notice it doesn't say till end of turn. So it is going to always be a 4-4 four, four after that second turn. So not bad. Well, I do appreciate it. I thank you. It would have been nice to get a Mythic. We got some really good cards. Yeah, I would say probably Jorn, Egon, and Radan are my favorite of, th of them. He is a, not a, oh wait, I put that in the wrong spot. Yep, just like that. I would say there's three of my favorites. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you can, leave me a thumbs up. Very much appreciate it. And leave me a comment. And I will see you later.